Forty dollars to park your car. Fifty-five for preferred parking. You think it's cheaper to go to Dorney Park than it is to park your car at Great Adventure? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Just pulling into Great Adventure now. It's been almost a month since my last visit here, and today is the 4th of July. Happy 4th, everyone! And um, since my last visit, so much has happened. Um, King Nikaz cable snapped, but it's back open again, thank God. And then, of course, El Toro's finally open. Now, I haven't rode El Toro in over a year, so that's definitely gonna be my main priority today. Hopefully, I can get a few rides on that today. And, um, Looks like the weather's kind of cloudy at the moment, so uh, it's supposed to clear up, so hopefully that kind of scares the crowds away, I'm hoping. So yeah, just pulling in now, so yeah, enough chit-chatting and let's get inside the park. Pretty muggy out, but it's probably a good day for Hurricane Harbor to be honest, because it is friggin' humid here in New Jersey. But yeah, I think they have like Flavors of the Worlds festival going on, so uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna try any foods or not, but it's pretty interesting that Six Flags is doing that. Boy, man, I see El Toro testing, baby. That's a really good sign. That's the main reason why I'm here today. Let's go, it's been over a year. Jaro's going, that's what Kai's going. The only nitro set opens up at 10.30 and the Toro set opens up at 11 o'clock. We'll be off right over here. Went to Nitro first. That's closed. Went to Batman. That's closed. Remember when Nitro used to always open when the park first opened? It's been having a lot of issues this year, so... Maybe the Jersey Devil will come through for me. Nope. Wait. He's all Holly. Me got to go now. Jared's got a ride on Skull Mountain. Snag day right in the back row. Empty station I walked right into. So, uh, yeah, it's running really good. I actually really enjoy it. Only in the back row. Uh, any other row, it's kind of like a family ride. But back row is definitely the road to be. Walk over to the front of the park now. See if it let us do by El Toro. We'll pass the merry ground over there. Because uh, my main priority is to ride El Toro since I haven't rid ridden that in like over a year. So let's go. Other rides are uh, not as important since I've been here so many times. Not even 11 o'clock yet. Look at Joker's line. I say now it's going to be a pretty busy 4th of July. So I'm not staying too long. I'll probably leave it around 2 3 ish. It's also humid as f out. So I'm probably gonna skip that on Joker today. Same with Harley Quinn. Walls are down. So 
El Toro. I just got off of it. Got the front row and I got the very back row. Now this is the first time I rode it since its closure and I do have to say the first drop is still really good. First two air hill are really good. There goes Cobb by the way. But once we get to the turnaround section, that's when I'm debating if I should call an ambulance because I think I'm having a heart attack or if it's just really rough. I found that section like kind of unbearable because uh, after my two rides, I kind of don't want to ride again for a couple of hours. So I still have it ranked pretty lower than other people who rode this before. Here it comes, done the drop now. It's still a fun ride, but I just can't ride it like too many times in a row. I'm also 33, so maybe my age has to play a factor with it as well. Who knows? <laughs> Yeah, let's head over by Medusa, see if that's open. I haven't heard that in a while. I did walk by the sky ride over by Nitro and uh, there was a sign that said it was closed for today. But I did see people inside the station I do see it running. So maybe they didn't have one of those temporary closed signs or something. So I'm kind of hoping it opens today. Here a going. Kind of hoping it opens today just so I can get some pretty nice views of the park. I feel that breeze because it is pretty hot out. But yeah, I haven't seen Medusa run yet so that's not a good sign. Just because it's the 4th of July, I might actually ride the mine train. I don't think I rode it this season yet. Yeah, I think this is like the oldest ride left in the park. I forget the year that it came out. I thought Medusa was closed because I didn't see it run just because there's no one like in the uh, station trying to ride it So yeah, let's get front row Medusa This is the entrance here. Yeah, that side blocked off Medusa. Um, this might be a very unpopular opinion, but as of right now, I think I might like Medusa better than El Toro. I just found El Toro just so rough. And believe it or not, I actually found Medusa to be pretty uh, smooth. Yeah, it's running pretty good this year so far. I didn't hit bang. Uh, maybe a little bit on the cold roll, but besides that, it's running pretty smooth. Yeah, pretty good ride on Medusa. Unpopular opinion. I like that better than El Toro. <laughs> yeah, let's see what else this day has to offer. It's really hot, so I'm not even sure how much longer I'm going to be staying here. Six legs, knock this down. 
you know you guys want to just sit in here nice spot for a nice uh, dive coaster or something Wild Safari hints for Wild Safari off-road coaster coming next year. You can wish, right? And the Skyway is open. Thank God. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire. But it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true Baby, let the light shine through If you believe it's true Baby, won't you let the light shine through For you Let's go off the uh, Skyway. Some really nice views of the park. That looks like nature as you walk on. So let's go. Yeah, I'm digging the colors. Yeah, I fixed that nature sign up though. That looks really outdated. And of course, paint the track. So hopefully next year they do that. You know, it hurts for me to see that Jersey Devil is a station wait. Pretty much a walk on. I'm gonna pass today. I don't feel like spending the uh, two bucks to get a lock for this. The last time I was here, I think I rode this like 10 times, so. All right, next time I come up, I'm sure I'll probably be here in a couple of weeks or less. But I can't pass up not filming it though. A really nice ride to uh, watch run. Not as nice as uh, Wonder Woman at Fiesta, Texas. 
That's still the better uh, single rail in my opinion. And that's another part that I'm dying to get back to. I guess this is the main area of the famous of the world. See France, Italy over there. Debating if I should get some food or not. Seeing all these uh, food trucks are is making me really hungry. I'm gonna make to the game. Here's the decorations up over here in front of the Ferris wheel. There's some more food things over here. Let me see the menus. I might get the uh, Indian food if they have like butter chicken. On the Tiki Marcel in Italy, I was debating about getting the food card, but I'm only gonna try like, maybe, like one or two, so I figured it's cheaper if I just buy it separately. There's a small portion, it's costing me like what, $10.99? So the Tiki Marcel, whatever it's called from Italy, I thought it was alright, I guess. It tasted more like shop grade butter chicken, to be honest. It didn't mean it was bad, it just means I was expecting more. The pita bread was, wasn't that good, in my opinion. Korea's over here, Greece over there. I figured I'll save them money and get pizza after this because I'm a fat ass and it's cheaper and you get a bigger portion. Way more coaster merch in the market here. Oh Judging from the t shirts in the window, I guess they moved it over here. Right across the way. Look at the price of mugs. $16.99, Miss King's Island prices. Still pretty cool, Great Adventure has a sign when you exit. Because you're far the nearest Six Flags parks are. But that's going to do it for this short visit to Great Adventure here on the 4th of July. I went on everything I wanted to. It's really hot, I'm going to go home and relax and probably watch some fireworks go off. So yeah, as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next video. Peace out.